Stuart Friesen here at the Bridgeport King of the Big Box. Stu, you, uh, you really gave it hell there in the last few laps. I thought you were going to get it done. Yeah, a little uh, too a little too late. Um, our car was really good in the long run there. and um, It was fun. This is uh, probably the raciest the track's been. So we've been here, been here for a series race. And um, it was tough. Go down just did you know what he had to do to to clog it up there and then block some sliders and um, and that was it. He <laughs> did what he had to do to get it to the get it to the checker. Early in the race, I didn't know if you were holding back or just the car just took a while to come in for you. Yeah, it just took a little bit to fire off and get rolling. Um, you know, some things we did a little bit different starting 12th than honestly we normally do to to, to try some stuff that. You know, we tried to build the notebook and get better and better, right? So um, tried some things and, and, you know, added to the notebook. But, you know, the Helmar team is definitely strong right now. Uh, we had a little bit of a rough start to the, the early season. And, you know, to be, uh, you know, into May and getting into the big swing of, a, swing of it now, uh, to be firing off and running the top five and, and you know, competing for wins is, is what we need to do. Yeah, that's what I was going to just ask you. You guys got off to a rough start, a lot of motor issues, and it's hard to get motors fixed anymore. So, But it seems like the last few last week or two weeks you've been starting to come along real strong here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, big thanks to everybody at Helmar, all our, our great product sponsors, Bart Contracting. Um, got a lot of friends and supporters. Tommy Conroy's doing a great job, you know, crew chief and getting stuff ready every week. So we'll, uh, we'll keep swinging and uh, hopefully you know, get some more checkered flags here in the near future. You didn't, you know, you fought – You've been a supporter of like the um, the history of our sport, and you've done some really cool uh, re- retro paint schemes on your cars and on your truck this week. Um, yeah, you know, that means a lot to the fans. And uh, you know, what's it mean to you to do this kind of stuff for the fans? It's you know, I'm just in a great position. Uh, you know, thanks to Chris Larson for for letting me you know do this stuff, and it was his idea to to auction off the throwback for the uh, the Camping World truck. And uh, Sean and Billy Beckhorn came up with a with a big bid of four hundred thousand dollars to to pick a Jack Johnson uh, scheme. It was their idea to pick Jack, and uh, you know, something that's obviously close to home for us you know uh, being a, a fonda uh home tracker and uh it, it's just been cool it's been a lot of fun uh to, to watch that develop and then you know to run uncle alex's uh scheme on, on the on the modified last weekend was was really cool and just a lot of fun doing and, and putting it together and, and trying to duplicate the car to make it look right um and just a lot of fun seeing people's reactions and then talking to you know friends ray mcgiver's family uh ray passed and he was alex's partner in, in racing and raceway speed and performance and you know his wife debbie was at utica with us and it, it was just really cool to to see everybody and uh you know do that research and that was kind of a big part of it all right once again it's ken bruce from dirttrackdigest.com here with Stuart Friesen, second place finisher at the bridgeport motorsports park king of the big box good luck down in Darlington, so. Thanks, and uh, this this track is fun and racy, but I definitely miss the 5.8s. I gotta say.